Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a hard look at one of the most anticipated MMOs of 2020. Like most of you know, New World MMO is the first game ever created by Amazon, and many players have been waiting a long time for a game of its kind. New World is a massively multiplayer, open-ended, sandbox MMO set in a cursed and supernatural version of North America in the 17th century. Players can be anything they want, from farmers to soldiers to lone wolves. Most of my subscribers, whether you are from Albion Online or World of Warcraft, are just looking for a new experience. I know some of you are somewhat bored and looking for something new, so New World may just be the game you have been looking for. Why do you, or would you, want a new MMO? So this is pretty quick and easy to explain. New experiences and fresh starts. Now I am like most of you, and I look up guides for new games just like the rest of you. However, the amazing feeling of being one of the first players to venture down some of these paths and learn things for yourself without following guides and not knowing what lies ahead of you is a great feeling. So yes, most people look forward to a new MMO experience and want to be some of the first players to reach certain goals. Playing New World MMO would mean you are part of Amazon's first video game. This is huge. If you don't know somehow, Amazon has a massive amount of money and an insane reach to consumers. This brings me to my next topic, player population. Almost nobody wants to play a game with a low population. I know personally, it has stopped me from playing video games in the past. Games I once loved with low population is just less fun. A game with low population can start to feel like everything you accomplish is worthless. If there isn't anybody to show off your progression or new gear to, then is your progress really that exciting? Maybe to some, however to most people I seem to find out whether the game is dead or alive has a huge influence on whether the game is fun or not. My hopes are, with New World being created by such a large company, Amazon will continue to advertise and do whatever it takes to keep the population rolling with high numbers. Amazon as a company. Amazon took a decent jump coming into the gaming industry with their first true video game. I think it's safe to say Amazon doesn't want their first game to flop. They want to see it grow just like any other company. And like I previously said, what company would make this happen better than Amazon themselves? I don't think they would accept failure as an outcome. This is their chance into yet another market. With this idea of never accepting failure, I expect tons of quality updates, and I believe this team really will listen to community feedback. New World MMO PvE So we have heard it many times. They want to focus a lot of time on PvE, which to me sounds like a great idea. Obviously, PvP is very important, but with a decent PvE scene and decent PvE activities, PvP would ultimately become useless. Now we have been told that there are no dungeons or raids. However, we have also been told many, many times that they are open to feedback and are willing to add anything the community finds necessary. Overall, from what we have been shown, the PvE aspect should be entertaining for sure. They have talked so highly of PvE in New World that I expect a ton of new ideas and ways to play if you are a PvE only player. New World PvP New World PvP so yes, you may have heard, New World is backing away from the open world PvP always on aspect and taking their game into an opt-in, opt-out PvP aspect where you can flag up to opt-in to PvP at certain times in your gaming session. They did say this would give players better experience and more loot. However, many of us are hoping it's worth the risk of flagging as most players want to see these risk-reward type players out and about. I am also hoping for a lot of incentive to get kills. As they mentioned, there will not be full loot PvP like in the Alpha. Is this game similar to any other? Like I said, New World seems to really be a new type of MMO to most players. Although it does seem they have a few common ideas in mind. They have a classless system that sounds very similar to Albion Online, where you are able to master tons of different gear, whether you started as a swordsman or end as a bowman, you can do it all. This game really gets me excited, and I plan on spending a lot of time covering this game and its community. Be sure to subscribe to see more New World content in the near future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.